So, we've talked about animals and we've talked about the different categories and the two main categories of vertebrates and invertebrates, right? And we're just going to talk about like animals in general, you know, when we talk about domestic animals, when we talk about pets, when we talk about wild animals, we talk about seafood, you know, sea animals, and as well as birds. And um, this next chapter or this next topic, it's just so that you can, one, um, able to identify at least 10 of the animals in each group. That's the first objective. Second objective is to be able to pronounce it well. Um, you know, that's one. And then the third one would be to be able to write it. And then the last one would be, of course, um, that if you see it anywhere, you should be able um, to identify which animal this is so you can know it both in English and French. Okay, so please, um, you know, just you need to take note about the pronunciation, especially some of these animals that like are similar that you need to know um, what the difference is. You know, it's important that you take that into consideration. So we're going to be starting with like sea animals, fruits de mer, you know, seafood. Like when you go to a restaurant or to the market and you want to go to like to the seafood section, tu diras, je vais aller, you know, to the seafood section, please. Okay, which includes anything that concerns the sea. Of course, sea, c'est la mer. Alors, uh, voilà. And here in Senegal, we consume, on mange beaucoup, on consomme beaucoup uh, les fruits de mer. And so you should be able to know um, their names in English as well as in French, not necessarily in just Wolof. Okay. And so when you talk about seafood, you look at like, you have shells. You know, the coquille, you have shells, you have um, examples like um, like penguin, or penguin, like penguins, you have starfish, okay, poisson d'étoile, starfish, you have sea lion, you know, you have a lobster, you have just a general fish, you have a shark, which is like baby shark, you have a pelican, qui a un pelican shark, un requin, pelican, with une baleine. You know, dolphins are dauphin, you know, you have a sea turtle, a sea turtle qui est tortue, you know, sea turtle. You have, um, you know, jellyfish, you have shrimp, a shrimp qui est les crevettes, you know, you have um, sea snail, like snails qui, uh, qui est escargot, you have lionfish, you have octopus, you have crab, you know, you have coral, you know, corals. You have clownfish, clownfish, poisson clown, clownfish. You have clams, you know, and then you have, of course, seahorse. And there are lots of other examples, but, you know, take note about um, the pictures and your names, a seahorse, a goldfish, a starfish, um, a clownfish, snails, shrimp, you have lobster, you have crab, um, you know, you have oyster, you know, les huîtres, you have oyster, you have octopus, you have, you know, quid, you have coral, um, you know, um, you have penguin, you have um, pomerat, so there are different kinds of um, sea animals out there that you need to uh, take note. Of course, different kinds of fish. When you talk about seafood, you have different kinds of fish, you know, when you talk about seafood that, um, that you should know about, okay? And then to finish with seafood, let's now go to like birds. What do you know about birds, like different birds, a lot of them out there, and I'm not expecting you to know all of them, but if you look at this picture, you see that there are different, you know, different kinds of birds. Which ones do you know there? You have pigeon, you know, you have a turkey, kieladand, you have goose, because you have a you have a duck, Kekana, you have a falcon, you have a finch bird, you have a parrot, qui est perroquet, you have a vulture, qui est vautou, you have an owl, qui est hibou, um, you have a flamingo, 
you know, you have a, a robin, you have a crow, you have a cuckoo, like a cuckoo doo doo, like a cuckoo bird, you have a hawk, um, you know, you have a swan, um, a swan bird, you have an ibis bird, um, you know, you, so there are different, different birds, you have a dove, um, you have a dove, you have a raven, um, you have a peacock, a palm. so you have a sparrow, you know, those are different kinds of birds, you even have a hummingbird, so you have, this has examples about 15, 20 birds, you pick 10, work on them, you know, try to see what you can do, you know, about these birds, um, it would help you. Okay, um, different kinds of birds that they have out there. I'm sure you only know a parrot, but you know, you, know, you probably know just a penguin or a, a pigeon or, you know, a pigeon. But, you know, there's so many there on this chart, um, you know, be able to try to, to identify, um, you know, with these birds. Okay, now let's go to like animals in general. Animals, you have wild animals, you have... Um, pets, and you have domestic. Wild animals on fit is animal sauvage. Wild, ça signifie sauvage. Pet, c'est des animaux qui, de campagne qui vivent avec, euh, voilà, avec nos chevaux, chenoux et tout. They call them pets. Les animaux de campagne, c'est pets. And you have domestic animals, les animaux domestiques, les animaux qu'on a eu à, à à le, je sais pas, à les transformer à une façon qui peut vivre dans la nature, qui peut vivre avec des personnes, des êtres humains. So they're called domestic animals. You have farm animals, les animaux de la ferme. Animals that you often see in the farm, dans les fermes. Farm, c'est une ferme. Okay? And so when we talk about um, wild animals, what comes to mind? Oh, you know it. You have a lion, you have a tiger, you have a leopard, you have an antelope, you know, you have a giraffe, you have a bear, you know, you have a zebra, you have a panda, um, you have a gorilla, you have a monkey, you know, you have a chimpanzee, you have a kangaroo, and it's kangaroo. It's kangaroo, kangaroo. Okay, you have a wolf, you have a camel, you have a, hip a hippo. If you cannot pronounce it, you can pronounce it hippopotam in English, you say hippo, hippo. But the full term is hippopotamus. It's a hippopotamus. It's a hippopotamus. But if you cannot pronounce a hippopotamus, you can just say a hippo. Okay, and then you have a fox. Uh, right now you have a deer, you have a horse here, a uh, cheval, you have a yak, you have a jaguar, and you have a rhinoceros, a rhinoceros, it's a rhino, a rhinoceros, it's a rhino, pour short, like hippopotamus, hippo, or rhinoceros, qui est un rhinoceros. Okay, and then, uh, you know, so camel, it's a chameau, it's called camel, a camel. So those are examples of wild animals. Of course, you can add a crocodile, you can add um, an alligator, you know, to it. Those are wild animals, okay? Um, so those are examples of wild animals. So what about um, pets that live with us? Pets, animals that live with us, and might, you know, you have, of course, dog, cat, um, some people don't even have a hamster. Some people might even have a parrot. Some even have fish, like the small fish, as um, as a pet. Okay, you know, some people even go to the extent of having snakes as a pet. So it all depends what it is to you or a bird as a pet. Um, it just all depends, you know, um, you know, as far as pets are concerned. Okay. And, um, and the final one we'll be working at now, it's farm animals. You know what farm animals are. Um, farm animals, you have, you know, cow, king, vache. You have, uh, you know, donkey, lan, it's a donkey, c'est lan. Um, you have uh, a pig, qui est un cochon, a pig. You have a rooster or a cock, qui est un cock. So you have a rooster qui est masculin and a hen qui est féminin. So you have a rooster and you have a hen, you know. 
um, you have uh, a Billy G, a Billy Goat, a Billy Goat book. You know, you have a sheep, sheep of course, or mouton. Okay, you have goat, goat. It's like goat. The a, the a is silent. Goat, sir, a chèvre, chèvre, goat. You have a pony. You have an ox, qui est un bœuf. You have an ox. Mm. You have a ram, a bélier. You have a ram. Um, you have a lamp. So you have a ram, bélier. And you have a ram. Okay. You have a ram. And the, ra the lamp, c'est um, uh, 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 l'anneau. Comme un l'anneau, it's a lamp, a baby sheep. You have a turkey, like I said. So those are some of the farm animals that you can have. You can meet on the farm. You know, a sheep, uh, a goat, um, a donkey, um, a rooster, a hen, um, a pig, a cochon, a pig. Those are um, some farm animals that you get to meet at the farm. Um, you know, you have also a rabbit. You know, you meet a rabbit. Um, you know, um, so those are examples of, uh, of, of animals, okay, in general, there are animals. So you see that in all, we've looked about 30 or 40 animals. We started with the birds, we went to the fishes, and we went to the wild animals, we went to the pets, and of course we've ended with just the general animals. Of course you have rats, qui en rat and mouse qui est uh, la souris. You know, mouse is smaller, you have mouse, you have rats. And you need to know, um, you need to know them in your male and female form. You need to know them in your male and female forms. I'll send you the chart so you can learn them. You, learn to, you can learn them to know what they are, um, you know, for, um, what a goat and a billy goat, for example, a sheriff goat. You have a goat, female, female, and a billy goat, which is a, a male goat. You have for a cow, la vache, which is a bull. It's a masculine, it's a masculine, it's a male cow. And you know, and, um, and then, so it will help you so that you can know <coughs> the differences, okay? So thank you for listening on animals and I'll see you next time in class. Thank you.